Hello my friends and compatriots. I'm here today to discuss with you the concept of heaven and hell and how it affects us as a society and as individuals. This is very important. Now as a preface, please like, subscribe and share this video with all your friends on social media because we need this information to get out there, especially during these times. Now, I for one, am not telling anyone how to believe, okay, what to think, we're just sharing information and having an open discourse on this channel, that is completely encouraged, and uh, the only way a society, a healthy society in my opinion, functions at its best levels. Now put it bluntly, I feel that heaven is, is something that is, it's metaphysical in its conception, and how can we contextualize something that is, that is not based in this reality? Uh, it, we don't have the, the reference point, we don't have the, the basic understanding of such a thing to be able to even visualize it. But if we can visualize it, then it must be rooted in our reality, right? So heaven in a sense, in the way that we understand it, is not something that is outside of this reality. It's not something that we go to when we are freed from these uh, mortal chains that we all abhor for one reason or another. We, no, <laughs> I take that back. We don't all abhor. The, this this mortal coil. I find it, for, for, uh, for instance, very pleasant. This existence is very beautiful and I'm entirely grateful for every moment. Now, now, we say that heaven, and some people say that heaven, is something that you can only earn through your righteous deeds and acting in accordance with the values that have been handed down to us by uh, men from antiquity. Now, there are some truths that are universal and are immortal, immutable, such as change. Everything is in a constant state of change, nothing stays the same. Even the way we perceive truths change. So, looking at heaven from a literal sense, heaven can only be, in my opinion, something that we create for ourselves. Heaven is not something that is just there, that, that we go to a place that we are allowed passage into if someone deems us worthy. Heaven is a state of 
happiness, a state of bliss, a state of calm. And it's that nirvana, that uh, exhale, that aha moment. of a living as we ought to live, as we feel is right, as we know is right in our core. No one else can tell us what is right, what is wrong in the divine sense of the word. That is given to us through our conception. It is ingrained in our DNA, in our genes. We understand what is right. What is beneficial to ourselves. And that comes through intuition. It's that inner voice that tells you you should do this at this precise moment or you should not be doing this. You know what is right from wrong. However, society and social pressures and what we believe is right through social conditioning can override our intuition if we allow it to. And this leads to another state of being called hell. So in summary, heaven is doing that which you know is right through intuition. And hell is doing what you are told to people who know nothing and seek only hell for themselves and for those around them. Contemplate these thoughts. Tell me how you feel. Till next time, it's been mystical. Follow me on Twitter, mod, at Modern Mystic, Mystic spelled M I S T Y K. You'll find amazing content there. And again, share this with all your friends because they're going to love it too. Alright? Peace.